Alrighty, everyone. We are back from the break. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that uh, wonderful run of RE6. Uh, I have, once, once again, again, I have been your host, Dysis. And I have been Kialink. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Uh, oh, there, there's Koopa as well. I can see yeah. it now. And also, then. here's uh, other host, Koopa. It's, it's the dog <laughs> host. The dog host. Yes, we always have to have a dog host, of course. <laughs> yeah, that being said, we have our next game coming up. RE6 was close. Survive. A lot of the runs have been pretty close today, and I'm kind of hoping we can keep that energy going forward. Uh, we still have plenty of games. I think we've officially hit the halfway point of today's show. Yeah, we have officially reached the halfway point, and that RE6 run was quite something, uh, especially with the Deborah fight kind of really ruling it out. Uh, but all in all, both very, very wonderful runners. I think Salad was only 25 seconds off a of world record, which is quite crazy. That is wild. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we are ready to take a look at our next game, which uh, continuing the trend of, I guess, interesting Resident Evil games, let's say that much. Uh, we're going to be showing you RE Gaiden, which uh, to tell you a little bit about that game, Resident Evil Gaiden was a game for the Game Boy, uh, but was it the color or was it the... I think, it's the uh, Game Boy. I think it's the Game Boy Color, yeah. Game Boy Color, I believe. Which, that's just a way of putting it. It's definitely one of the most unique Resident Evil games in that capacity, and uh, the fact that we had enough runners and commentators to make this game work is beyond me. Uh, yeah. That being said, uh, let's go dive on into uh, RE Gaiden and see who we have. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, to start things off, we're going to meet uh, our runner on Team Stars. We have Ms. Scarlet Tanager. You'd like to tell us a bit about yourself. Hello! I am the mother of bunnies, as you can see. They are very adorable. And I have a treat for chat because uh, this is my controller for today. <laughs> I do a lot of horror games, a lot of uh, shenanigans like that. You may know me for playing Kuon at AGDQ two AGDQs ago. Alrighty, uh, we also have uh, on Team Umbrella, uh, we have Chris Naga. Chris, you'd like to tell us a bit about yourself? Um, I can see the defeat already because I do not have a chainsaw. Um, <laughs> I do not have uh, that special thing, but no, um, Aiden's, uh, uh, what we call it, a guilty pleasure of mine, so this is, uh, pretty interesting, but I do run, uh, other RE games, uh, RE remake, or remaster, I should say, um, and a lot of crowd control things as well, just to kind of spice things up, so. All right. Uh, as well, on commentary, we have Starwin. Starwin, you like to tell us a bit about yourself? Oh, hey, everybody. It's your boy, Starwin. You know, here again, doing some commentary for what is probably the greatest Resident Evil game today, in my opinion. Uh, this, uh, this game is going to be super neat. It's going to be really awesome. Uh, looking forward to this race with two great runners. Uh, and uh, when everybody's ready, I'm ready to... Start sharing some info about this great game. All right, we all ready? We are. All right, Starwin, on your count. Best of luck. Awesome. Runners, are you ready? Let's go mm -hmm. in five, four, three, two, one, go. All righty, so this is Resident Evil Gaiden. So since this was made for the Game Boy Color, so Ekdysis was correct, uh, this game... Uh, it's going to be just like a most it's going to be mostly 2D uh, for the entirety. It's it still plays like a Resident Evil in terms of like you have to find items and keys and a bunch of backtracking and whatnot. But there's also this really interesting fighting system when you run into a zombie like we're going to see from Chris right here. Sadly, didn't get past the zombie. It's a little annoying kind of how it can be set up. Uh, your main objective is trying to hit uh, stop the little uh, little rectangle in the center of wherever the enemy is and that will be a critical hit so if you do get in a fight you want to try to get crits or run away um for the most part we're going to try to be avoiding a lot of these encounters like what both runners have just did right here is that when they when you hold your gun really close to an enemy the uh the zombie will get aggroed and get pulled and they'll, they'll start running towards you and it gives you more of an 
a chance to get past them. So, uh, oh, throughout the run as well, you're going to be seeing in the bottom right-hand corner uh, a bunch of symbols be popping up. So, if you see like a green door, the door means it's uh, uh, you're close to a door that isn't locked. If you see a red door, that means it needs a key or some kind of item. Uh, if you see a green exclamation mark, that means an item is close to you. If you see a red exclamation mark, uh, one of the zombies on screen somewhere is holding an item. You need to kill them and then approach the body and actually grab the item. And then uh, a flashing skull means, oh man, you got grabbed. And at that point, you kind of want to start mashing to push the zombie off of you, which will trigger a, a fight. Uh, there's also poison in this game as well, which can happen with uh, the blue zombies. We'll get to blue zombies later. Right now, we're just going to be focusing on green, basic green zombies. But so far, you can see that, uh, especially on Scarlet's side, getting all the, the appropriate dodges right here. This is one of the first mandatory fights that Scarlet's about to do just because this zombie has a item that we need to get. And right here, we're trying to get into that little, little blue square to get crits. And that's going to give us a key. And unfortunately, uh, on uh, Chris's side, what can happen sometimes, whatever's, if there's any zombies on the screen when you start a fight, you have to fight those zombies. And I'm pretty sure this is RNG. Don't quote me on this. But when you are about to start a fight, or if you get grabbed, there's a chance that other zombies that weren't even on the screen before can just randomly spawn. So kind of gives you uh, more of a struggle. So like right here, we're going to manipulate this guy on the right on Scarlet's side who has the crowbar, gets past him. Don't. We had an extra zombie spawn at the bottom, which is fine. You, as long as it didn't spawn at the top, you're going to have a good time. And Chris got the same thing, so very good. And then we have yet another mandatory kill that we have to do because we have a card. This game is casually is a confusing mess. There, there, I'm telling you, like, because you don't get to actually like visually see the item randomly you're just going to be going up to things and being like oh i need to I, I maybe this is a thing i need or maybe not this game does have a really cool system with its uh uh inventory where you can get like body armor pieces and whatnot and you can buff characters like right now we only have barry uh but later on we're going to get leon and lucia i think is her name she's like this little girl character that can sense the bow that's on the ship also this is the first Resident Evil game on a boat. Revelations wasn't the first. Uh, so um, you can actually equip everybody with items and then you can switch to those characters during this fight phase. But we're not really going to be doing that. Takes a little bit too long. Uh, we are going to be, for the most part, trying to conserve ammo. The more crits you get in this game, the better. If you get crits... Uh, Fights go a lot quicker. Most things go down in a couple of shots with the handgun. We're going to be getting an assault rifle in a little bit. But first things first, we uh, uh, Scarlet's actually coming up to the first BOW boss fight. And the cool thing about this game is we can skip boss fights in certain in, in, in certain phases. Like there, There's going to be certain boss fights we can't skip, but this is going to be the first one that we can. We're going to lure a zombie over here to this door, trigger this cutscene, and once we go through this door up here it's going to trigger the boss fight with the big B.O.W. But as you can see, the crowbar zombie's still coming. So you know what's going to happen? The crowbar zombie takes prio over the boss fight. So we just kill the crowbar zombie and completely skip the boss fight. So that was very, very good. Sometimes it can get it, and Chris got it as well. We got ourselves a race. They're maybe like five, six seconds behind each other. Uh, this room could be kind of annoying. Uh, we're, we're running to fight the zombie up here, but we're not trying to fight these other zombies. So we're making sure that we start the fight with no other zombies on screen because we need to get this key and we need to get out. And there's a really high chance that you can get grabbed right here. Good. Got a dodge right there. Can Chris get the dodge as well? Those doorways can be a bit of a pain sometimes. And good. Both, uh, both uh, runners getting out of there scot-free. And I do believe we have Lucia now in our party. Yes, we do. As I said, we don't we're not going to really use the other characters. This game gives you a lot of items, like straight up. Like it's so, like there's there's like we could have already. Uh, I think uh, there's a room up here that we could get the grenade launcher and everything. But no, we're primarily going to be using handgun, the assault rifle, and the uh, the gas launcher later on the run. And when we get to the gas launcher, woohoo, boy, we're going to have a good time. So one of the annoying things that can happen, which thankfully has not happened yet in the run 
is uh, when you try to go to a door and open it, if a zombie is getting close to you, since you only have two buttons like on your Game Boy, one button is just your action button. If a zombie gets too close to you as you're trying to open a door, it's going to prior you trying to shoot it, and it's really, really lame. So, uh, hopefully that, ha that well, thankfully, I should say, that has not happened yet. Uh, this crowbar zombie can be kind of aggro, can be annoying to dodge, but nope, we're good right there on Scarlet's side. And it's looking like pretty, pretty even. Both players about to, or both runners are about to use the lock pick right here, that big green gun. Jump scare zombie right here. Oh, Chris is uh, going to fight it while Scarlet's going to lure it out of the room. Uh, I'm not sure which is actually faster. I think fighting it is quicker if you get crits. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the main reason because the zombie's going to come back into the room. Uh, but now both uh, runners are going to have the assault rifle. Uh, and we just picked up an extra clip right there. Assault rifle ammo is very, very, very important to conserve because uh, that one clip that we just found is the only one that we're going to get. Uh, and we have like to do, we have to do like two or th I think it's three boss fights with the, the assault rifle before we get the gas launcher. Also, if you, <laughs> I know you're not going to see a lot of the portraits in this game. Oh my God. The portraits in this game are hilarious to look at. Um, if anything, uh, Ignisus, I'm pretty sure has the Leon emote in his channel. Uh, that, that face is uh, uh, only a face a mother could love. I'm sorry. Oh, and they get the aggro on that crowbar guy. And, uh, that's going to be the first instance of Scar of, of a reset. Scarlet's assigned to reset instead of actually fighting that zombie. Because like I said, it is very, very annoying uh, to have to use your assault rifle ammo uh, when you're not having to use it for a boss fight. Uh, but Chris is now going to be at the boss fight. This is a mandatory boss fight. And I think it takes four crits and a regular shot. I can't remember. He had good fight. I think that was like two or three crits and a regular shot. Uh... If you ever do want to pick up this game, uh, uh, this game is really expensive, which is kind of lame. Uh, most uh, The good thing is is uh, there's a lot of good guides. Like, uh, old, they're old guides, but, man, they still, they're still there. Uh, there's, like, really good boss fact. Like, man, this game is actually a lot of fun uh, and easy to pick up. All right. Got the fight coming on Scarlet's side. Very nice. I like how she decided to move the cursor to the right. I mean, maybe that just maybe maybe just a feel kind of thing. And trucking Lyle along. I think we already. Yeah, this this room is a lot of fun. Uh, that uh, Chris is about to go into. There's three female zombies in here, and as you can see, it the game will slow down if there's too many things on screen. It's an old game. It's the Game Boy. What are you gonna do? Uh, this one zombie specifically has the uh, item that we need. Very good fight. Getting that uh, in one cycle, like one left to right cycle. That was really, really good. Um, again, both zombies were on screen. So sadly, you have to fight both. <laughs> Just it's like walking through sludge until, <laughs> until you get out of this room. And we're already back at the main foyer that we were in at the very beginning of the game. Like I said, you're kind of just making circles. It is a back and forth game, just like Resident Evil. Uh, any any uh, normal PlayStation Resident Evil. Oh, unfortunate. Gets the spawn right there and doesn't get grabbed. That was weird. Or they got grabbed. It just... Huh. Oh, and then even worse, RNG. There's a chance when you fight a zombie, uh, <laughs> you'll get grabbed. <laughs> You'll get grabbed, you'll fight the zombie, oh. you'll, you think you kill it, and then guess what happens? It's laying on the ground, still blocking your path, and you have to fight it again. So, uh, this is really interesting. So, so far, Chris has been primarily uh, not resetting, actually taking the fights, banking that they uh, that, uh, he actually, you know, has really good boss fights while we have Miss Scarlet who's uh, actually taking the resets. Now, you may think Scarlet's behind because of that, but that can come back. Like, if bad boss fights can it can completely destroy a run. Same thing happened to Scarlet, too. My goodness, that zombie is just being a jerk. Yeah, and the farther... It's really weird. The farther away, the farther away a zombie is on that screen, the little reticle will get smaller, but it's so silly that you're just right in front of him and it's on the ground, but all of a sudden it's standing. It's kind of silly. 
Oh, gets an extra zombie spawn. Oh, but that was... Yo, Scarlet, that was sick. That was super sick. Oh, wow. I, that's a... If, if there was a clapping moment, that was a clapping moment. That Dodging in close quarters like that is so hard. Alrighty. So both runners... Uh, I would say there's about a 20, 30 second... Uh, discrepancy at the moment. Uh, like I said, this can change at any time. Bad boss fights, getting grabbed randomly. Uh, Chris is just in this room right here. We're going to have to kill a zombie to get a key. Hopefully just getting one crit. These uh, green zombies will die in one crit shot, just like that. Very good shot. Going to grab that key and move on. Scarlet catching up. So, like I said, there's a lot of... Uh, when we get the assault rifle and we do this backtracking part, there's a lot of mandatory fights. Like, uh, a lot of the fights in the early uh, part of the game, you don't actually have to do. All right, and Chris is choosing to go down right here. Uh, there was a task recently uh, where they go up, so maybe going up is the faster option, but... Uh, this this still works too. I think they go up in the task just because there's less, uh, uh, there's, it's a lot riskier in terms of like uh, having to dodge zombies. If you go to the bottom path, it's less risky. And honestly, in a race setting, that's probably the safe route. Um, Scarlet's about to come up here and get this uh, key. See if they get the crit. Ah, uh, just a little off. So it takes a couple of shots right there. And going back into this room where we fought the first boss. Uh, the boss is the same boss, by the way. And it, it, what's really cool about this game is it, it's kind of like a Mr. X kind of thing. It, it chases you throughout the boat and everything. And then as the uh, game goes on, it starts to mutate. Uh, yeah, don't feel bad about that one, Chris. That That is the, one of the harder... Uh, uh, dodges to get in the game. Really good fights. Chris is nailing a lot of crits, like a lot of clutch crits. And as you can see right here, uh, Miss Scarlet's actually taking the task route, actually going up. Uh, gets past that zombie, so we're good. When you take that bottom path that Chris took earlier, you, you don't have to do any kind of gun manipulation to, to move any enemies, but on Scarlet's side, you definitely have to if you go up. And on Chris's side, is act Chris is actually coming up to the third boss fight. It's supposed to be really exciting because, like, you have Leon in your party now, but, like, we're not giving Leon anything, so it doesn't matter. Like, right here, I'm pretty sure it's four or so. I, don't quote me. It, it's, like, four or five crits or something. Oh, are they trying to skip? I don't think you... If you can skip that... I've never seen someone try to skip that. I don't think you can skip that. Now, see, I was going to go play Street Fighter 6 later. Now I got to go test things. The fact that Chris just attempted that, I'm like, really? You can do that? That'd be really cool if you could. It'd be a nice skip. You could save ammo. Alrighty, now we have the whole trio. Barry, Lucia, and Leon. Except, uh, guess what? We're about to just become Leon right here. The boat's going to explode for some reason. Now we're Leon. We're basically the same sprite, but just blue. Oh no, Scarlet is now poisoned. That is not good. Poison just means you're just going to keep losing your health. And I don't think she's going to take... Oh, uh, she. I don't think she knows. There is actually a purple herb in that room she just passed above her. She could have gotten that to actually help her. It's, this is going to be a really tough run if she can't get an herb. Because uh, poison doesn't go... It's just like any other RE game. I'm pretty sure poison doesn't go away. Also, sick dodges again. Having an extra zombie spawn right there. All right, Scarlet's on the boss fight. <laughs> Decides to aim the other way. Classic. See how Scarlet does on this boss fight. Good. Good. Not bad. Just got to make sure you have enough ammo. That's all you have to do is worry, worry about that ammo. Uh, on the side of Chris, we are in the basement. I guess, or I guess the, uh, the, the, the bottom deck of the boat where all the... The freights and stuff are. We just got a bunch of crow. We got a crowbar and a, like another key item. Essentially, we're going to be going up and down these elevators and just grabbing things. 
Uh, there's going to be a fire that we have to put out and eh, just, you know, story stuff. Also, the poison? Did I guess the poison applied to Leon too? That's weird. I feel like it should just be Barry, but you know. Who knows? Maybe they both got attacked at the same time. Uh, Chris taking an unfortunate fight right there. Uh, it's really, really hard to squeeze past that one zombie. Uh, the second you actually have the ability to go into the door, it'll aggro the zombie, but there is a chance that you can actually make it through. Oh god, that Leon portrait. We didn't, get to, oh, we didn't talk about this on Chris's side earlier, so right here, uh, Scarlet is actually manipulating the zombie to come out of that corner. She's going to go grab the crowbar, crowbar and then go into this corner and actually grab the key, and then she can start moving on to the other floors. So this game, like I said, can be very, very confusing. Uh, casually, I think this game is a nightmare, uh, especially if you don't have... The, the one thing, if you don't own the game, you don't have the manual, it is such a pain. Oh, an extra zombie spawn, and it gets the dodge. Very good. Uh, just because this game doesn't explain much, like, in-game. Like, you really... It's one of those games where you need to have the manual. Like, for the longest time, like, even when I was speedrunning the game, I was like, I have no idea what these little symbols are popping up in the bottom right-hand corner. I have no clue. Alrighty, now I think we're at the part where Leon has to go... It's going to go down right here, I'm pretty sure. No? Okay, now we're going to go back. Are we going to go back to the bottom and use the fire extinguisher? I think that's what we're doing. Yeah. To get into this room that is blocked off. Good dodges on Scarlet's side. That poison is going to be a big... Th it's it's going to be a big problem because uh, while you can live throughout the run with no health, but if the game decides to have the zombie or whatever you're fighting attack first, you're just going to die immediately. And then you have to take, you know, whatever autosave it gives you. And Chris is looking really good on ammo, assault rifle ammo. Having, having five left, I think there's only one or two more mandatory fights that we need to do where we need to use that assault rifle. And unfortunately on Scarlet's side, taking a grab right there, and especially with being poisoning, having the that issue and having that much health, you really don't want to take any unnecessary fights. And uh, again, I, I don't think on Chris's side, Chris, I don't think Chris has reset yet. Uh, and like I, like I had said before, it's a... Uh, beating this game without resetting is very difficult. It's, it's very, very difficult. And Chris is just having a really solid run right now. Getting, uh, nailing, nailing a lot of crits and then having the... Uh, good dodges. I, and Scarlet, speaking of dodges, Scarlet has been killing it with dodges. Like, some of the most... Like, you don't get to see this game, like, run in this kind of setting that uh, that often. This is probably the first in, like, ever that this has happened. And we've seen dodges that I've just... <laughs> that have blown my mind. Uh, so, actually, Chris ran out of assault rifle ammo. And I know there's going to be one more spot where you are. I think you're wanting to have just, like a few shots. Uh, thankfully, they should have uh, uh, the pistol still. You can still use the pistol. It's just fine. And that's what exactly what's happening to Scarlet over here, having to switch to the pistol. It's good to grab extra ammo for the pistol just for that reason. Oh, no. Hopefully, Scarlet can get past this guy. No. Oh, okay. Very, very good. That would have been really rough because the blue guys are they, they're so aggro heavy and uh, they, they, even after you knock one of them down, they still take like two shots to kill. Hey, and Chris is about to go back into this room for like, I think this is the third or fourth time we come back into this room just to go to this like control panel. And uh, this part's really, we're going to backtrack a little bit and it, what's really crazy, we're just going to walk into a room and it's going to trigger a cutscene and it's going to teleport us somewhere else. It's it's wild. Uh, real quick, I, I, I'll go ahead and explain this right now since we're going to just be doing a little bit of backtracking, nothing too serious. Uh, one really crazy thing about this game is like the glitches that... We, we've had these boss skips, right? Um, I Don't quote me on this. I can't remember if this is 100% true. Um, it's either... You can't do that on the Japanese version with the boss skips, or you, uh, 
or you can't do the the trick that we're about to be doing later in the run. I know that for sure you can't do on the Japanese version. I don't know if you can do these boss skips. I think you can. It's just I I, I don't know. It's 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 been a, it's been a long time since I I've I, you know, I've de-rusted this game recently, but like I don't remember like the the exact things that would like I could help describe like the the history of the run and why we play on certain versions. And it's one of those unfortunate things too, where like you know, usually a Japanese copy of a game is cheaper, and it, like, uh, and you'd want to get the Japanese version. It's like ah, but we can't do it in this game because we need to have the English version so we can do tricks. Ooh, all right. So Chris seems to be at a very pivotal moment right here. We're actually coming up here to get a key, but there's a very, very, very important weapon in here, and that is the gas launcher. So when we throw the gas launcher, it's a really interesting weapon. Uh, if when you shoot a grenade with a gas launcher, it it'll make gas go on screen. I think like every second it does damage. I can't remember the value. Um, so, but you only get three shots of that. Well, we're gonna be doing. This is the silliest trick in the game, and sadly, Chris died right there. That's fine, but you saw where the auto save was. So we're good. Uh, Scarlet's catching up. About to be in the same exact area. About to be, be able to use that that gas launcher. So right here, we're going to pick up the gas launcher. Having to dodge these, dodging these guys in literally like 10 frames because it's it's so laggy in here. So now that we have the gas launcher, we're going to abuse it. So we're going to fight whatever's in here right now. We do not care. We're going to go to the escape uh, part and just start mashing fire. For some reason, it lets you <laughs> fire the gun without using any ammo. So we're just firing like infinite shots of, of gas. And so it, it's going to kill pretty much everything in the game really quick, except for like the bosses. Uh, fighting the tyrant, it doesn't go so well. Um, there is a boss fight where we, we could actually use, the, we can use like two gas grenades. It's like the second to last fight you would do with the boss. Uh, but uh, for the most part, we're going to probably just be skipping. Skipping most of it, sadly. Uh, the, bo the, the, the tyrant, or the B.O.W. in this game is really, really crazy. Like, very, very difficult uh, later on in the game. Like, this game really wants you to pick up the ammo, uh, or the, the, armor, the armor pieces. The armor pieces are really, really good. All right, Scarlet's about to be up getting the gas launcher. Chris is just going to be clearing a path uh, later on in the run as we, we're going to be coming back through this area with Barry. So it's really good to actually um, clear a lot of these zombies. So we're going to stand in this corner, go to the escape, the run option, and then just start firing. Yeah, it's it's a... Uh, I just saw someone in, in chat say it's jank. It's very jank, <laughs> but it's it's a lot it's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> Just know if you're wanting to do this casually, you can. Uh, just know that uh, you're still going to have a bad time if you're just trying to beat the game Let's, this way casually. You still need a lot of stuff to beat this game casually. Nice. I like that uh, what Scarlet just did there. Uh, all three zombies were on screen, was able to manipulate all of them with just one uh, uh, gun manipulation. That was really good. I like that. I, I, I must say, like, because I do it a completely different way, and I was like, oh, that's pretty good. I mean, you're going to be right there picking up the key anyway. You might as well. So from now on, we're mainly going to be seeing the blue zombies, the super aggro heavy ones, uh, the ones that have a higher chance to, like, poison and uh, just be a nuisance in general. Oh, this guy didn't... <laughs> that poor guy Chris just killed just didn't even know. It just became green, and they disappeared. Alrighty, so where are we going? Okay, we're going to the engine room, and the engine room is going to have another uh, boss fight, but we're going to be skipping that. And right here in Scarlet, on Scarlet's side, going to be starting to make the trek uh, to the engine room. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be clearing that path for Barry. Uh, right now, uh, earlier, we had triggered a cutscene. Uh, Barry actually is not on the ship anymore. Uh, Barry got on a submarine with Lucina. Because, uh, I think the the submarine is like being run by um, it's like umbrella or something, and Barry's like, "Aha, I'm umbrella now. You come with me, little girl. Time to go back to prison." 
because Lucian has like a like a project from Umbrella. She can like sense the BOW on the ship, and she has like crazy regeneration properties uh, inside her. Uh, but Barry was tricking uh, the um, the captain of the submarine. So later we're gonna actually be fighting the captain, who could be really annoying because he it's a zombie with a gun. I mean, what are you gonna do? All right, so we are now in the engine room on Chris's side. Gonna opt to actually fight these zombies. You can, you can actually. I'm not sure if it's quicker to uh, manipulate them to get them out of the way. Uh, it's just that you're gonna have that chance of just them laying on the ground, and it's really, really frustrating. So, Chris's side. We're gonna be hopefully manipulating the zombie to the left to start attacking us. You have to get kind of close to them, and you really don't want him to like. Swing the crowbar, because he's not going to chase him right here. Like, this will probably be a reset on Chris's side. Yeah. Or is he... Oh, they're just going to go for the the other way. Just firing the grenade. You, essentially, you're just going to fire two grenades and sit here. And it'll kill the zombie. Or kill the B.O.W. It should. All right, going to switch to pistol. It usually... Like, I know in the Tacit, that's what they do, but... Okay, there we go. That's fine. That that was actually probably quicker than doing a reset. And now immediately after doing a boss fight, we have another boss fight. So you saw how uh, how uh, Leon had the gas uh, launcher, right? Well, Barry already, Barry has it too. All of a sudden, for no reason. Can you escape from this fight? I don't. Uh, can you escape? For, I, if you can escape from this fight again, another thing I didn't know. And Scarlet's about to enter that engine room. We're going to have to be fighting the B, uh, the B.O.W. I don't know if you can skip this fight. This is... Scarlet's going to be able to make a lot of uh, leeway right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to gas the guy. I don't think you can escape. Okay, there we go. Takes him out. Yeah, that was a... Uh, I don't know. Like I said, don't. If you can, I have no. I have no idea. But it looked like every time Chris was trying to escape, it would just kill him, or the escape wouldn't happen. But that actually uh, closed the gap a little bit uh, for this race. Let's see if uh, Scarlet gets the skip right here. I think he swung. Yeah, you can't have him swing the the crowbar. You have to. The second he swings, the, the zombie which swings the crowbar. Done. Did he just pick up crap? Is that where gas grenades are? Is that where you can refill gas grenades? Yo, I, <laughs> you, you obviously can see I never played this casually. I just, I just did a speed run. <laughs> but I think Scarlet got the skip right here. Let's see. He's walking away. It could still happen, though. Oh, unfortunate. All right. On Chris's side, Barry's back on the ship. Gonna be taking that same route that Leon took earlier to the engine room. Pretty much the exact same route. <clears throat> some zombies are still gonna be there, and some zombies uh, are definitely gonna be dead thanks to what you would do, what you were doing earlier. And there we go. Scarlet got the boss skip right here. The only thing you get to do right here is just walk over over here. Boom. Uh, I think you can actually walk to the left, and it's a little quicker. Don't quote me on that either. I don't know things. I casually speedrun. <laughs> All right, so Scarlet's immediately going for the gas grenade uh, setup. Don't know why Barry has the gas launcher when uh, Leon just had it, but you know, what are you going to do? And then we actually didn't get to uh, talk about the submarine too much. I was focused on other things. That room's really annoying. You have to dodge three zombies. And then there's a zombie right in front of you right here. It, it, it's crazy. And because that zombie was in the other room, it uh, you don't have to fight him. And then we have to dodge, of course, the B.O.W. right here. Usually you just have to walk around and be good. Both of these runners are picking up ammo that I never knew was there, and that's blowing my mind. I... <laughs> if there's... A, if they legit have a backup strap for the final boss that I never knew about, I'm going to laugh. Like, <laughs> that's that's really cool. Uh, that's the beautiful thing, is when people... when. Ever, when so many people are running a game, you just see things sometimes you just never think about. Like, oh, this is convenient. This is right here. Alrighty. 
Scarlet is now making that long trek back, and Chris is pretty close to making it back to the engine room. All right, can we get a dodge here? Ooh, dodge first try. Yes, you pump that fist. That That's a really hard dodge. You That's supposed to be like a mandatory boss fight, but you can kind of manipulate uh, where the B.O.W. is going to go. Uh, so th and honestly, that's a big reset point where if you're doing a run, uh, you can just fail like three times in a row and just completely lose your run. Good dodges again on Scarlet's side too. Those are... Usually you want to fight right there, but... Nope, <laughs> just decides to dodge. And we actually are coming to the... F we're really close on Chris's side to being at the final boss. And uh, I hate to disappoint everybody, or it's going to be really exciting for everyone that um, <laughs> we're not going to be fighting the final boss because we're going to skip the final boss. Because uh, we're not going to... We're going to be doing the same thing that we've been doing throughout the entire run. We're going to manipulate a zombie to come closer to us. Uh, it's going to trigger the boss fight. And that will get us past the first phase. When we trigger the second phase, it's we're going to kind of bug the game out a little bit. And it's going to make things a little janky. Um, the game can crash a lot when you try to do this. Um, it's kind of up to chance. The game does have a pretty forgiving autosave uh, feature, but... Um, like I said, um, th it could be a big turning point because I don't think you can, unless the ammo that they picked up earlier is going to actually allow them to beat like the boss. I don't think you can beat the final boss with what uh, equipment uh, both runners have right now. All right, Scarlet side. Let's see if we get that dodge, that super sick dodge. Ah, uh, that that was that was bad. That was just bad RNG. Oh, is this what we do? Is this what the extra ammo is for? You just fight this guy instead? Instead of resetting? Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm learning things today. <laughs> that That's so much faster than having to fight him. Or having to reset, I should say. Holy crap. Okay, cool. Uh, apparently, if you want to get those as backup, you can just fight the guy. Cool. I've learned things today. Alrighty, we're getting really close to that final boss fight. Oh, I think there's two zombies there that we're, Chris is going to have to dodge right here. Can we get some sick dodges? Oh, that stupid zombie just didn't want to aggro. What are you going to do? Scarlet's now on the final trek as well, trying to get back to this, uh, this part of the ship. And as you can see, the final boss is waiting for us. We're supposed to just walk up to him and, you know, trigger the fight. We're actually going to pull a zombie into here. It, they're going to grab us first, but for some reason, since we're in like a, a hallway, it doesn't trigger the fight, which is really weird. But this is what sets this up. And didn't get it right there. Usually, you, I, from what I've seen, you still want the zombie to be closer to you. Like, you want to still manipulate it to come close to you uh, for the fight. But as you can see right here, forgiving, super forgiving uh, checkpoint system. But at any point, this could keep happening to Chris. Like, the gap can, can you know, close a little bit more. It's, it's, it's going to be up to chance if we get this or not. And does not get it again. But it looks like they're just going to be going for the... I guess this is a backup. I, like, again... I didn't know this was a backup. I didn't realize you could just get gas grenades and be like, ah, I'm not going to skip this anymore. I, I didn't know this. Can you just fight the boss? <laughs> Can you just fight the boss? No way. I, I, my, I'm sorry, my mind's being blown right now. Scarlet's getting closer and closer to the final boss fight. You can't just fight the boss. Oh my god. Time isn't yeah, time is it will be at the at, at, at the, the end screen, but it's looking like Chris is taking the run, uh taking this race. Uh, I have learned things today. I there's things I didn't know you could do. Uh that's good to know, especially in a marathon setting for sure. And Chris is coming up on time. Time on Chris's side. Very, 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 very good. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you have uh, one commentator. The person, the, 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 get the guy that hasn't run the game in three years. No, 
I de-rusted this recently. We're good. But I I I love it. I love it when I learn new things from other runners. It's a it's a, one of the great things about the speedrunning community. Uh, the fact that you just pick up six gas grenades and you can like skip fights. You don't have to reset. Like that's super cool. But I really hope uh, Scarlet gets the skip right here. Uh, it would be really cool to show off because the game just bugs out. It's it's really crazy. All right, gonna get the grab. Oh, another zombie actually spawned up here. That might be good. That might be good. Oh, she got it. That extra zombie uh, uh, spawn was really good. Are you supposed to walk back into the left? Yep, or that works too. That triggers, the, you skip the fight and that triggers the, the credits. You kind of see how everything was jumbled up and crazy. So that's kind of, we actually got to see how you can fight the final boss and how you can skip the final boss. Very good. And the time will be coming up soon on the side of Scarlet. And time. Great race. Oh, man. If there's one thing I like is when you get to see a bunch of different strategies because we got to see a bunch of different I things there. That was awesome. All the bad zombie luck. Jeez. You had no, you had Jeez. some Jeez. sick dodges, Scarlet. There were some times where you had bad zombie spawns. You're like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, but like, <laughs> I'm I, not got, gonna lie. I got so many double zombie spawns and so many like mm -hmm. you beat the zombie and they're on the floor in the middle and like in your way and I'm like, what? No, it happened. To, it happened to Chris too. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the ones that happened to it happened to both of you. It was crazy. Yeah. So oh. I am I am glad that you're here to commentate because I have been hearing zombie moans and like Game Boy Color music <laughs> for the past hour and I'm just so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I had to the, take chain, my, the power my, of the chainsaw. I had to take my headset off. Yeah, the power of the chainsaw could not help me this time. I'm. Uh, I just want to say. I, I just want to say really quick. Thank you, both of you, for showing me things that I never knew. Actually, that I didn't. That um, that zombie, the final um, two tyrant, that method of skipping that I just did. I found that last night, and it can be five to ten seconds <laughs> faster than the method used in the world record. So I'm about to say that no, that that's sick, and even like I didn't know you could pick up extra ammo and then actually just fight the guy. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> actually, Chris told me about that one yesterday because I was practicing the dodge, and that dodge on the Leon Tyrant is so neat. Brutal. It oh, makes please. this game marathon friendly. Exactly. I just want you to know that. Yeah. That's All very right. awesome. Yeah, so that but was awesome, awesome from both of you. Yeah. Do you want to say since we are talking with both of you right now, I want to take a look at uh, you know, the runners here. Uh, starting on the star says Miss Scarlet. Miss Scarlet, how did you feel about Gaiden in your run? I love Gaiden. It hated me today. Like, I'm not even joking. I was getting, um, I was about 37 minutes was my time. I was getting 35 in the one before this. I got literally all the bad zombie spots. Yeah, you had some unfortunate ones, especially early. Uh, luckily, mm -hmm, you, uh, the, sure. the race yeah. did close a little bit uh, on the uh, the back half of the run. Uh, yeah, you sure. have some brutal early game. Yeah, there's a couple, like, you can't really tell when the game's going to spawn a second zombie when you're aiming the gun or when you're... Yeah. And you also can't tell when the game's going to, uh, instead of actually getting rid of the zombie after a fight, it just spawns it on the ground and you can't go past it. And on some areas of the game, you then have to fight it two, three more times in order to get through the hallway. <laughs> That being it's, said, uh, it was uh, it was fun. I'm glad. Thank you again for doing the run. Uh, yeah. Well, it was mean. Uh, we did get to the end there, which is always good to see. Yes, for sure. The bunnies are laughing at me, <laughs> uh, especially since you did it all on a chainsaw controller. Yeah. Also, that yeah, that yeah, was there, crazy. You might have seen me messing up on the menu a few times. That's because um, the you directional used a buttons. Chainsaw controller. <laughs> The directional buttons and the joysticks are at an angle, so I was hitting diagonals instead of up. Oh, down, they're up, they're right. awkward. No, I know no. that. Yeah. Uh, I tried going to Evo the chainsaw controller. Uh, I, I I jumped off a cliff immediately in Catherine because I just the D pad <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know if um, you can the downsides yes. of the chainsaw. Really quick though, um, poor Ms. Scarlet. If anyone did want to find you on Twitch or anywhere else, where can they find you? Um, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Miss Scarlet Tanager. My rabbits have a dedicated webcam. It's pretty cute. I stream on Sundays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time because I'm busy and I have a full-time job. 
But yeah, that's where you can find me. I do a lot of All horror right. games. I'm the world record holder for Kuan, Xenosaga, so lots of horror and RPGs. All right. Nice. And let's uh, hop on over to Team Umbrella. Chris, uh, Chris Naga, how do you feel about Ari Gaiden and the uh, the run? I thought Chris. I thought it was a pretty good beginning. I think with the exception, I knew everything was starting to go downhill during the second pass to the West when that green zombie, like that, mm, I killed yeah. it. Then it, another one either, it either spawned or it was on the ground. And then another one popped like back up and I was just like, all right, I, I give up with this game. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I definitely think, know. Uh, I think at I one went point for the during, dodges. Uh, at one point during the run as well, I didn't know uh, Miss Scott was coming back a bit. It was that one boss fight. It just kind of mm -hmm. kept getting you. Uh, you had to keep mm -hmm. getting continue. So with that one, sometimes it's easier to run. I think it just depends, right? But it, he's talking about the I boss as soon as you get back into the ship with Barry. Mm. It's, it's easy to run and then like either eat a hit. But sometimes, which what I was getting... Was that he was hitting me like he would hit me twice or three times, and he could he easily, hits like a truck. Yeah, you don't have any. You don't have did any get, armor. Did you get got by the sub tyrant? Which tyrant was it? No, it wasn't the tyrant. It was the, the captain. The, yeah, the, the, the captain. captain the oh, the captain. captain is such. You can soft lock yourself with the captain if Barry doesn't have enough health going into that fight. Yeah. No, I had full health at one point, and he was still KOing me. Yeah, I spent almost the entire run in poison status. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, the poison was just me. I I, I got I got a I got a hit early. I saw that poison. I went well. There goes all my time save because the yeah. Uh, no, good for you. Good for you for trucking through that. Absolutely. By the way, that's the uh, as well. Uh, Chris, if anyone did want to find you on Twitch or anywhere else, where can they find you? Uh, they find me on Twitch uh, slash Chris Naga. I again I do guided runs. Um, I do a lot of um RPG playthroughs as well though. Yeah. Um, and a lot of crowd control. Um, so I'm definitely planning on a crowd control month for the month of August. So if you guys like to troll me, uh, come on <laughs> I do right. have some. I do have some good news. I technically PB'd. Hey! Oh, well, that's that's awesome. congratulations! So e even though stuff. I had all of the bad zombie um, spawns, I still PB'd. What was that? Congrats! That's awesome. Uh, uh, I got you had a five. thirty-five, thirty-four, apparently. And Miss Carl had a 37.06. Yeah. Yeah, that's a PB. I'm looking at it right here. <laughs> All nice. right. Uh, uh -huh. As well, uh, Starwin, thank you once again for doing commentary for this run. Oh, yeah, for sure. All righty. That being said, uh, RE Gaiden ends with a point for Team Umbrella. Chris Naga takes it, and we have a couple of more runs here for you tonight. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Resident Evil 2 Remake. Chris! <laughs> 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 